Hey guys, sorry about the barking dogs early in the morning. <clears throat> it's like eight o'clock and I just wanted to show y'all all my fruit trees that I have here in Smart Pots, 20 gallons. And I think I have two that's in a 25 gallon, well, four in a 25 gallon. So I'm gonna start right here to my left. And this is the Myra Lemons. I had a video on this one and it was, whoo, it was in bad shape. All the leaves fell off for the winter time. But it looked like it's still alive because it looked like it's putting on some new growth here. Here, but no leaves is popping out. So I'm not sure what that what that means. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to take those off and see what's going on with this tree. Everything is budding with no leaves. That I don't know what's going on with this Meyer lemon, y'all. Tell me about this Meyer lemon because it's uh awful. Let me get a view of that Meyer lemon right there. It's like, oh my goodness, it's a disaster. I feel sorry for it, but I don't know what to do with it. I really don't know what to do. So hopefully my transplant worked. Hope it survived. So okay, next is my um Anna's apple and it's budding too. I don't have to no more overwintering because I don't think we're gonna get no uh, more. It's March the first, so I think our temperature is gonna stay between um 45 and on up. I don't think we're going to get below that anymore this year for winter. And that is my Anna's apple. Excuse my yard. I got to, we haven't cut this grass all year. You hear me? The whole winter we haven't cut this grass in the backyard and weeds is growing all over the place. <laughs> And this is, I think, my nectarine, if I'm not mistaken. Very pretty tree. Let's see. I think this the sun is out. Yeah, that's the flavor top nectarine, guys. Lovely tree. Nice looking tree. And it is not blooming yet. Very nice tree. And here is my kefir pear. And guys, it is blooming, but I had to cut this tree down because when I was over rentering, mice, rats, whatever you want to call them, chewed up all the blooms off of this pear tree. And I couldn't believe it. You can tell. Um, but um, it, they took all the blooms off this pear tree. When I tell you every bloom that was on this kefir pear tree, they ate it. Let me show you what I mean by that. Like this is where the bloom started right here. And when I tell you, they that's how all of them looked on this tree. And even right here, you could tell where they chewed the bloom off of there right here too. I couldn't believe it. I mean, they chewed all the blooms, but they have to, Hopefully they'll come back. <sighs> I had to chop this tree up because they was chewing the bark and everything. I just couldn't believe it. This is my um, fig tree. They even chewed the tr this tree too. They was chewing from right here and then they chewed this bloom off here. Look how they just chewed. They just chewed it all up. I just couldn't believe it chewed it up you hear me okay pomegranate i think it's a wonderful pomegranate okay this is two grapevines right here i have a <clears throat> oh that fig is a brown turkish fig a brown turkish fig that's what that's that that's a wonderful pomegranate and these two grapevines it's a muscadine a southern jewel muscadine and a thompson seedless grape and look how nice that trailers look there very nice i'm not sure what i'm gonna do at the top yet but if y'all want to check that video out, I did a video on this right here. It looks very nice. I think I'll make some X's at the top and join them. But that's how it's looking right there. Okay, I got my purple sugar cane here. 
which stayed which struggled in the winter time and my banana tree struggled too um the purple sugar cane struggled um it's it's hard to keep these sugar canes you don't know how much water you need you guys so they really need a lot of water tell by i didn't have that much water because the leaves at the end are um it's looking a little better it's not too bad i think i got about eight up in here two four one didn't come up so it's seven in here so hopefully they spring up that they are very nice okay this i think is a cavendish banana this another one the rats kept eating the top off i mean kept chopping i had to keep on chopping it off and it started growing since i put it out i got to put the soil back up a little bit and that's that and right here is my very pretty this is my cherry tree guys that y'all seen me i have a video on uh repotting this and i'm telling you it is a beautiful tree it's a lapin's cherry i got a lot of sun out here guys so hopefully y'all can see it it's a very pretty tree very pretty tree oh my goodness it's very pretty i don't know how well this setup is going to be but hey i'm going for what i think i know okay this is a what is this um guys i can't remember what this is and it's beautiful too this is the um let's see let's go down to this tag because i think it's a apple tree okay the other that other one the one back there i say was an apple tree this one right here this is actually a, this is a a rosa i'm sorry guys this is the plum tree that's why you got to keep them tags on there again you got to keep them tags on there till you can remember all the trees names santa rosa plum which um it just started budding right here and and i'm telling you the rest was eating my tr my lemon trees and my orange tree stems and everything i'll get to that so this is my apple tree guys this is so pretty the apple tree is so pretty and this is um an anna's dwarf semi-dwarf apple tree very pretty very pretty very pretty and they all in 20 gallon fabric pots and this one right these two right here is the 25 i tried to get the big tall trees to the back of the north and i'm gonna see how these gonna grow how tall they're gonna be i put the tall limbs trees at the at that back part so the short trees up here can get the sun coming from the west first and then the sun travels to the south of my uh to, and then everything from the north get the sunshine so I'm, i was trying to you know balance out how big the trees get so moving on this is my terrible looking avocado it's a it's a um a has avocado i bought it it was in a bad condition from the winter they don't do too good in the winter time but it's still surviving um i got some some yellowing not too bad of yellowing um i cut a lot of leaves off of it bad leaves that was bad from winter time but it look is it looks like it's okay i'm trying to see how much water they desire because this little this little this little pitiful um avocado tree not doing well so um let's see let's go to the middle part oh these are the raspberries i got here which i'm going to move this right here to the other side where the blueberries are i'm going to do the blueberries just like this too these raspberries i got four raspberries here and that is how that's looking my trellis with my two wire here so i do have the names on here um this is jewel royalty red amity and this one is Latham. So hopefully all these does great. They got these, the only two have leaves. This one had leaves when I planted it and the rats ate the leaves off of that one. This one never started blooming yet. So we'll see about this one. Okay, down the middle, we have the um, lime, Persian lime tree, which is the bear's lime, but it's Persian lime. Yeah. Persian limes. They got a lot of limes on this one. I know I'm going to have to take a whole lot of them off. They blooming right now. Very pretty tree. It lost a lot of leaves too, but 
it's not as bad as the Myers lemon, but it lost leaves. This orange tree here <clears throat> is not blooming yet at all either. And this and the rats ate this one too. I mean, I couldn't believe it, but I I, I fixed their tails. I fixed their tails. I cooked up a remedy and honey, I, that don't make no sense. You gotta feed the rats so they won't eat your other stuff. Yeah, and I'm gonna change all these three pots here. And this is a Amori Mandarin orange right here. Very pretty. Um, it's not growing too many leaves right now. It lost some leaves too. So um, I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna up pot this one and this one. And I also have blueberry to add to my other two that's on the other side of the house when I make that little lawn. Six feet. Um, oh, this is a six feet, a six foot raised bed right here. Six foot raised bed by Smart Pots. And I'm gonna put three blueberries in the other one when I get to that. Okay, and that's um, a, I think that's a climax. And also I have this olive tree that I'm going to put in a 25 gallon too. This is a, um, I think, uh, I can't think of the name. I quit very pretty. It hasn't started blooming yet. So I got to get familiar with all my trees and the times they bloom. So um, what I do to keep the bugs off these trees, um, once, once a month I spray them down with a, a peroxide and, um, clay powder kaolin clay pot i make a mixture of that and i spread because you can see that you know it's been raining but it stays on pretty good you can see that like this this is what that powder is so i'm not i've been having i haven't been having too many problems with bugs and i'm gonna have to spray again because i let them stay out and it rained for like two days in a row so it kind of washed it off but not too bad and I and I go ahead and I spray everything, the bark and all the leaves and everything, before they start blooming. So you know the leaves and everything will be protected. Now this um, avocado tree, I haven't. It, I sprayed this one, but you can tell that it's been washed off. So I'm gonna have to spray this again. I think I'm just gonna go through here and pick all the bad leaves off of here, and hopefully, you know. It will start growing back when it's time when it's the spring start coming here it's 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 not quite spring yet but almost almost these strawberries right here i had two strawberries on this little pallet right here and when i tell you the rats was eating all the leaves look at this guys look at this and they started growing back i mean those little rats mice whatever you want to call them was 10 up these blooms and leaves i have also in this container here i have my strawberries i have eversweet and seascape in here i don't know if you can see that well because i'm facing the sun but um let me see if i go this way i can see it nope that's even worse but and this is where i'm going to grow most of it on top of here i got 30 more bare root strawberries coming it's under this right here for the bugs when i start planting my vegetables guys i'm gonna have down here is what i'm gonna use for my shaded um crops my lettuce and my spinach and my mustard greens i'm gonna put under here because you can see that it the sun from the west come through here and then when the sun gets to the north it's gonna come in the front of this so I'm gonna put a six foot raised bed like this again now I'm hanging on to these two cabbages I redid the soil here and over here I redid the soil when I finished store it but I think I'm going to pull these up because they're stunted but they say if you have it stunted they probably start moving on to the when the spring come they probably screwed up and i didn't took them out here is budding a little bit oh y'all can't see this well but i do apologize but i don't feel like opening this right now i really was showing y'all the trees i really got to get in here and do this this uh winter backyard i mean y'all i have a pretty big backyard and it's a mess i had a pool back here that um lightning struck it and y'all it, it is it's terrible back here let me show y'all let me show y'all the start of my backyard it's a mess so it's growing like it's we're in the woods you hear me so um i do have things that i can use for my garden i do have this little hoop thing right here i'm thinking about uh repurposing 
and I do have some rose bushes back there and I know y'all know my story when I started um, doing plants I had all my plants here rose bushes I had all kind of stuff back here under this little thing here but honey I just my allergies was just I saw hot mess I do have another apple tree right here which I have some type of disease I think it's um I can't remember the name of the disease but my husband want to keep holding on to it because this was his first tree he planted by himself and he refused to cut it down you hear me he refused to cut it down but I know that the Anna's apple needs a pollinator so I don't know if diseases transfer for back and forth from pollination y'all let me know if that's the case but when you look at this short I mean I got to pay somebody to come back here and get this yard together guys look at this backyard this whole deck got to be pulled up i do have a yard for planting in the ground but i don't want to do that i don't want to be digging up dirt because my allergies are bad so what i'm thinking about guys and i know y'all be saying man that's that's gonna cost me an arm and leg but i don't care and i know y'all see that pool back there it needs to be pulled up i gotta get somebody to get it pulled up and that's raspberry tree right there oh my god it's a mess guys it's the whole deck needs to come up because it's molded and everything Ew, it's bad it's bad back here and i we got to i want to pull all this stuff up and i want to cement this whole backyard when i tell you cement it from the under the carport all the way back to the wall and probably leave a border of grass for some nice little bushes and that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna back I'm gonna concrete this whole backyard and have my fabric pots and everything just all over the place and I will have just like a strip. You see this strip right here? This strip, I'm gonna have this strip going all the way back behind my fence line and um put some shrubs and stuff. I'm gonna put it all the way, all the way over and it stops right here. When I tell you, um I was gonna this spot right here which I was, um, I don't use it. I never did. I, I'm, um, you know, I, I, I used a couple of times when we bought it, but I just, I'm just, I don't know. I feel kind of heebie-jeebie and I'm thinking about turning it into like a little pond, a little pond, a nice little pond. And I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking about doing a little pond with that spot there. It's still in good condition. I need another cover on it because it's all rotten and stuff like that. This backyard is a mess. You can see how the, the deck and everything, all this is going to be pulled up. When I tell you, look at this. Look at this backyard, guys. <laughs> you would think I live in the woods, in the country somewhere. And this is not the country. This is in the city. And my yard is like this. But it didn't got worse because of the winter. We let it go for the winter. So we got um, this blackberry tree, like I said, right here. It's used to be when the pool was up and running i never knew we had a blackberry tree in that blackberry tree came up and i said oh my god they also had a banana tree too we moved it to um my uh, mother-in-law house and we finally got it to where it's not coming up again but now we got a blackberry tree coming up look at this deck it was a nice deck it goes all the way to the side all the way to the back but look at this this was a big above ground pool and it's i know y'all looking like oh, i can do something with this backyard yeah but i'm gonna get all this pulled up in the summertime have somebody come out here in the summertime i'm doing it this year i'm not gonna wait another year because a whole year like this look at look at the madness for a whole year guys look at the madness <sighs> working and not doing nothing with your backyard but um, i'm gonna tear all this up and i'm gonna concrete this whole backyard and Yep, yep, that's how I'm going to do that. Okay, walking around here, I have the blueberries. <clears throat> I have two blueberries here. Y'all, I have two of these that I'm going to put in. These are 25-gallon bags, which I'm going to use for my potatoes and potatoes and sweet potatoes. I'm going to reuse these bags, and I also have another one over there. But I'm going to have the raspberries and the blueberries on this little corner here. That's how I'm going to do that. So... I need to get out here and get all of these water bottles and stuff I be using with all this gardening. Winds blows it at night and everything. So yeah, um, I got water in that. Oh, I, all this stuff everywhere, guys. I got to really get together and get everything situated. I'm almost done with all my trees. I just got four more trees to plant 
let's see, one, two, three. Three plants and a six foot to plant, so. <sighs> yeah, I put dirt in that. Got to get in here and sweep up all of this. I mean, when I tell you, when you, you got stuff everywhere. I just everywhere, everywhere. It's a mess. I use these for my rainwaters when um, it's raining, and I just put those buckets out to catch water. All right, guys. I'm going to have to let y'all go. I will show y'all a little bit more as I get more organized. And when I tear all this, tear all this down and cement it. Y'all subscribe so y'all can come along with me and see how this backyard turns into concrete. <laughs> Girl, my husband say you going to concrete the whole backyard. People be wanting grass. I say, well, are you going to come back out here and cut it? No, he ain't. He don't worry about this backyard. All he worry about is the front yard because this is fence. But after that pool busted, he used to be out here before that pool busted. He kept it up and everything because it was nice out here. It was very nice. It was very nice. But most people be ashamed to show this, but not me because, you know, things happen. People want to know how how you turn something that's a disaster into something that you really want you can use it i'm not using this when you're not using something you you need to give it away or throw it away okay get rid of it because it's not doing me it's not benefiting me it's not benefiting anyone it's just in the way so get stuff that's in the way out of your way and that's how i look at things so hopefully i get all this i don't know what i'm gonna do with my rose bushes all right guys that's my time i hope y'all enjoy my little tours of my all my fruit trees in my um grow bag to say this is my first time doing trees they don't look half bad huh guys <laughs> um i am not a fan of bugs so you are probably wondering why i don't put stuff in the ground i just do not I'm, i don't want to fight bugs that's the problem and that's why everything is all all my gardens the stuff that that's not trees will be under something just like these strawberries those strawberries i tried to put them out and look what happened to them trees are a little stronger than these little fragile plants so i'd rather put them under something so i'll be working on this y'all stay tuned this is the Wanda Barton, gardening solo. Bye.